Hello everyone, welcome to Yvonne's Crutches and Show. This show is dedicated to elementary kids around the world to promote literacy in other children. Hello, Xavier Johnson. Welcome to Yvonne Gretchen Show. How are you doing today? Good. You doing good? I see. You must be a tired elementary student. Yawning? It's kind of tired? Got a busy life? Yeah. Yes, I understand. It's tough being a and it's tough being a kid. How old are you? Seven. You're seven years old? Yeah. Wow. What are you in the first grade? No. No. Third. Third, Third grade? Is he smarter than me? Are you smarter than me? <laughs> no. You skipped the grade? I skipped kindergarten. You skipped kindergarten? Wow. Pretty smart. What school do you attend? Um Greenpark Park Elementary School. Green Park Park Elementary School. I heard it's a pretty good school. Do you like it so far? No. No? Why? Because it only has like a basketball court. Oh, and it has a basketball court, so you want a bigger school with a bigger field so you can run around and play. Yeah, but don't they don't let us run. Yeah, because it's kind of a small yard. But you know what? Starting in January, you'll be moving to a new campus, and it has a bigger field for you to play. So you can look forward to that, right? All right. So welcome, viewers. Today we have Xavier Johnson on our show to tell us about a fabulous book he's read called Maria Isabel. My name is Maria, Maria Isabel. Bye. Alma for Ada. And who was the illustrator? K. Dibel Thompson. Thompson. Okay. So, where did this story take? Where did the story take place? The story took place in the morning. The story took place at Maria's house in the morning. Maria was excited about her new backpack that her mom gave her. Oh, so that's cool. So the story took place in the beginning. Maria at home getting ready to go to her new school. Okay, what about the middle of the story? Where did it take place? In the place? middle of the story, it took place at Maria's school on the play yard and then at the library. At the library, at school, and then on the playground. Okay, and the ending of the story? The end of the story took place at the friend's house doing makeup, her mind as she was daydreaming and uh -huh. at school on stage for the winter pageant. Wow, so this book had a lot of settings, right? It took place a lot of places. Pretty cool. Did it keep you interested? Yeah. Yes? Okay. So who are the main characters in the story? The main characters are Maria Isabel, the teacher, and Mr. and Mrs. Lopez, and the librarian. Okay. So what is Maria's Isabel personality? What was she like? She is a young girl who's nice and outgoing, and she loves to sing. I love to sing, too. La, 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 la. What did you think of that? Worst of all. Worst of all? Okay, well, I need to stay to my day job. Don't hide. What about the teacher? How's the teacher's personality? Come on, Xavier Johnson. How's the teacher's personality? <laughs> okay, the teacher's personality. The teacher is a woman who seemed very nice to the students. So the teacher was a woman and she was very nice to the students. Okay. And what about her parents? Mr. and Mrs. Lopez were very nice parents. They made sure that Maria had nice clothes for school and nice ber barrettes for the pageant. Okay. All right, so her parents are really nice to make sure she was prepared for school. Do you have parents that make sure you're prepared for school? Yes. Okay, that's a good thing. You should listen to them because they advise you very well. What about the librarian? When Maria looks in her eyes, she thinks it's an angel. Oh, wow. So she must have been very pleasant to look at, very nice, the librarian. Yeah. Yeah. So who was your favorite character? The dad because um, he... He gave um, Maria barrettes. Why did he give her barrettes? For the winter pageant. For the winter pageant, so she can? Look nice. So she can look nice. Isn't that wonderful? A father having her young, his young daughter look nice for the pageant. He bought her some barrettes. That is very nice. I can see why he was your favorite character. He's a very thoughtful dad. That was really good. Are you okay over there? You all right? Okay. So, so what was the main problem in the story? The main problem in the story is the teacher changed Maria Isabel's name 
to be Mary Lopez because there were three other Marias in her class. Okay, so she changed her name from Maria to Mary Lopez, correct? Correct. Correct. How did Maria, how did Maria take that? How did she respond? Maria didn't like her name being changed. She didn't answer the teacher when she was calling her Mary Lopez. The teacher was getting upset. Mary, Maria missed out on the pageant. So because of her name being changed, Maria missed out on the auditions for the pageant. Yeah. So why was Maria, why did Maria like her name? Because her real name was not being used by the teacher. Okay, and Maria wanted her to use her real name. Why? Because her name, her, her, her name is not Mary Lopez. She wanted her to use her real name because her name is by her grandparents, her grandma and grandpa. So Maria Isabel Salazar Lopez is her name. Her grandparents named her. She was named after her grand, her great grandmother and her great grandfather. So her parents took those names from her grandmother and grandfather and named her those names. So that's why it was important to her, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So how did the story end? The story ended by when it was like the pageant. Um, the t she was on. The teacher called her on stage, and then she called her Maria Isabel, come on stage. And then she finally called Maria, I mean, Mary Lopez, Maria Isabel. Oh, wow, and that made Maria Isabel very happy, didn't she? Yes. So how did the teacher find out that then Maria wanted to be called by Maria? By the wish list. The wish list. So all the kids in the classroom had to write a wish list, right? Yes. Yes? And what did Maria's wish list say? Maria's wish list said... Maria's wish list said... Maria Isabel Salsa Lopez. When that was my name, I felt proud of being named Maria, like my papa's mother, and Isabel, like my grandmother, Shadmilla. She, she is saving money so that I can study and not have to spend my whole life in the kitchen like her. I was salsa like my papa and grandpa Antonio, like and Lopez, like my grandfather and Newell. I never knew him, but he could really tell stories. I know because my mother told me. If I call Maria as well, Sasa Lopez, I could listen better in class because it's easier to hear and then Mary Lopez. Then I could have said that I want a part in the play. And when the rest of the kids sing, my mother, my mother and the rest of the kids sing, my mother and father then had to ask me why I didn't sing, even though I like the song about the Hikana Coke candle so much. Okay, so that was a reading of Isabel, Maria Isabel's wish list. So everybody had to write a wish list in her class. So the teacher read this and realized that Maria's wish was to be called Maria Isabel instead of Mary Lopez, correct? Yes. Okay, so how do you relate to Maria Isabel? that um like Miss Serrano she calls me um Xavier and my name's and and but my name's supposed to be Xavier and um she she's supposed to be named by X Z A V I E R that's X A V I E R. So it's very important to you that your name be pronounced correctly, right? Yes. So how would you like your name to be pronounced? Xavier with the Xavier with an X, so you have to pronounce the X, Xavier Johnson. Xavier Johnson. Okay, all right, so do you like the book? Yes. Would you recommend this to other third graders? Yes. Yes, okay. So before we end our show, Xavier has written a song for us. So Xavier, what is the title of your song? Maria Isabel. Maria Isabel Johnson. Maria Isabel song, and you, and you wrote this song? Yes. Okay, so bless us with your song. Okay. Maria Isabel, her teacher changed her name to Mary Lopez. 
but she doesn't want that name. She wants it the same. Her teacher caught her Mary every day, but Maria doesn't answer. It's not her name. It's not the same. Oh, oh, oh. Isabel Solsar Lopez was named after her grandmothers and grandfathers. She sees herself to her family's eyes. So Mary Lopez is not the same. Mary Lopez, Mary Lopez is not her name. It's Maria Isabel. Good job. That is a wonderful song. You written that all by yourself? That is very excellent. I know you're a musician too. He's a musician. Can you believe this? Wow, you have many talents. Well, thank you, Xavier Johnson, for spending time on the Yvonne Gretchen Show. Thank you very much. And thank you. And enjoy the rest of your third grade year. Hello, Mrs. Strada. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.